Why, hello there. I am Sophia. Next Tuesday is National Word Donation Day. 78 million Americans suffer from a very poor vocabulary. We call them the word impaired. The average word impaired person in the third world makes do on less than 40 words a day. That's barely enough to make up basic sentences, such as, I need a drink, or, what channel is the football game on? That's why we want you to donate words to the verbally needy. Any word you're not currently using could be invaluable to the inarticulate masses of the world. Oh, here comes the call now. Well, hello there. I'd like to donate the word heterogeneity. Heterogeneity? Well, all right. I suppose some word-impaired person could use that. Somehow. Oops, got another call. Why, hello there. I'd like to donate the word transnationalism. Transnationalism? Well, that's a nice word, but we're really looking for something... What? With fewer syllables. We really could use shorter words that the word impaired have trouble with, such as polite, well-groomed, thoughtful, considerate, and oh yes, please. We have a tremendous shortage of please. Thousands and thousands of the word impaired on waiting lists for years, waiting for the chance to learn that word. Did you know that the most common word among the vocabulary needy is the word, uh? That's why we need your donation now. Have I mentioned the benefits of donating? If you donate 20 or more words, you'll get a free tote bag. And if you donate 50 or more words, you'll get this classic book, Most Popular Verbs of 1987. Two words a day. That's how little you need to donate to make a difference in people's lives. Our operators are standing by now. We just got a call. See, what did we get? Insomniac and intemperate. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm sure somebody can use those words somehow. Did I mention if you just give two words a day, you'll also get a letter from your charity case telling you how much your words have enriched their lives. Let me read one to you. Dear Word Donor, I want to thank you for donating Word. Now I know how to say aggravate, pester, and nagging. Just yesterday, I used two of them in sentence. I told my son Ibuba to stop nagging and pestering me. He was so impressed by my words that he was speechless. But might be because he only knows seven words. If you can send more words, especially ones to teach me to criticize lazy husband, or get next door neighbors to stop screaming and shooting their pistoleros after midnight, I would be very... Sorry, don't have word for that yet. Sincerely, Ibanga Ganga. So donate some words today. We just got a new donation, the word alliteration. Shorter words, please, shorter words.